Hey, hey, uh, uh. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I know you guys are probably wondering why I have on the same outfit as the previous video. That's because I made that clip today as well as making this video. So, let's get into it. Okay, I'm back. Anyways, so today I'm going to be doing a story time about the time that the 85 South Show came to Pittsburgh. And that's right, your girl went to it. I attended. Yes, I was there. All right, now, it was okay. It wasn't the best experience. And that's why I'm making a story time about my experience when I went to the 85 South Show. Now, before I went to the show... I was a little frustrated. I was a little out of hand. You know how things be whenever you go to events or you go to shows and you have things lined up the way they're supposed to be and things don't go that way and you start to get frustrated and you get out of hand and you get out of character. That was me. And that's something that I need to work on. I'm not going to keep doing that. But anyways, I was frustrated at first. But then when I went in, we had a good time. Now, it was a good time, but still there were some things to it that I really didn't agree with, I really didn't like. So anyways, when I first went in there, um, I actually, me and the girl that I was with, we sat in the wrong seats. Oh, look how we look, look. Ah! Ah, yeah. 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 I love you, baby. Ooh. Ooh, she can kiss me. Yeah. Ah! She got the face lined up like an apartment topic. I got it. Because the tickets that they gave us, it was kind of confusing because all throughout the like stadium there was like seats A, B, C, D, and one, two, three. It was confusing. Like if you didn't know anything about that stadium, you really wouldn't know where your seat was. So we were sitting in the wrong seat, and we didn't really realize until these other people who were supposed to sit there came into came to sit in their seats, and we were in the wrong seats. However, it wasn't a. Hey, I wasn't complaining because the seats that we were really supposed to be in were on the floor. We were the third row. Um, back from the stage. So we were real close to the stage. And um, we had VIP tickets. And VIP tickets comes with the meet and greet. And so that's what was exciting about that. However, um, they all came out on the stage, Chico Bean, Carlos, and DC Young Fly. So they came out, you know, being real funny, doing their thing. And I'm going to make sure that I insert the clip so that you guys can see what it was like when they came out. And Anyways, it was all Gucci, it was all good. About 20 minutes in to the show, here, here we go. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Boo-boo biscuits. Honeys. Honeys, boo-boo babies, babies, biscuits. You guys were so thirsty. Okay? When I tell y'all that there was no other city that did what Pittsburgh did, you know, we might, we might have put ourselves on the map for this, but I'm not saying it's a good thing. Pittsburgh was so thirsty, y'all. They decided to have their own meet and greet. Because... Girls just start coming down the aisle, taking pictures with them, talking to them, and just like, you know, hugging them and stuff as if this was a meet and greet. I'm like, during the show, during the show. So there was a lot of people who were kind of upset about that because they wanted to just see the show. And if you guys watched their previous videos, you don't ever see anybody getting up, going down the aisle to take pictures and all that stuff unless there's a meet and greet, okay? So anyways, they're trying to do their thing, you know, they're having a good time, and they're being funny, and they're, you know, making fun of people and stuff like that, and we're enjoying ourselves. So, again, as they're trying to be funny, people keep coming down the aisle. And it's like, okay, now, nah, that's enough. Like, they kept coming down the aisle. Now, some of them was like, all right, y'all, you know, stop coming. Like, you know, sit down so we can do the show. And they were doing it in a funny way, but I think they were still serious at the same time. But people weren't listening. They weren't listening. They were so dang excited to have some famous people in Pittsburgh. They just wanted to be starsty. So, anyways, 
um, that went on. And I'm just like, okay. And usually when they come and do shows, they do shows for like two hours. I watch most of their shows on YouTube. They do them for like two hours. However, they were here for exactly one hour. And like I told y'all, for those people who have paid a lot of money, some people pay paper, not just for their tickets. Some people pay almost 200 for their tickets, but they also pay for outfits. They also pay to get their hair done, to get their hair cut, all that stuff like that, just to come and have a good time. And the show was only one hour, and I just thought that kind of sucked. But I believe that it was like that because so many people kept walking down the aisle. <laughs> Let's get into the meet and greet, okay? And this is a real quick story time. I just wanted to tell my, my experience a little bit. And I'll make sure that I insert the clips in the video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So anyways, so we're watching the show, whatever. It's funny, you know, I'm laughing, whatever. Like I said, people keep coming down the aisle. You really couldn't stop that. It was like a concert. They really thought this was, I don't know what they thought. Chris Brown or something was here. Like, I don't really know. So anyways... Um, I still had a good time. It was still funny. They still cracked me up. You know what I mean? And so then it was time for the meet and greet. And they said, everybody who has the meet and greet tickets, you just sit here. We'll come get you and we'll take you to the meet and greet. Now, let me say this. When I watched their previous shows, well, their previous, um, yeah, their previous shows, they talk about meet and greets. They talk about meet and greets when they meet children, when they meet this person, that person, their experience. So I'm thinking, okay, when we go to this meet and greet, they're probably going to end up talking to us. We're going to, you know, kind of see, like, have conversations with them, take pictures with them. You know, just like a meet and greet, what I think a meet and greet is, what's in my head, what a meet and greet would be. So, no, that's not what it was. That's not what happened. That's not even close, sis and brothers. No. So anyways, like I said, people done pay about $200 for these tickets for just for these meet and greet tickets. Because like I said, Pittsburgh basically had their own meet and greet. So those of us who paid too much money, well, my ticket was bought for me, but still, it was still paid for. It was too much money. Those people who paid too much money didn't even get their money's worth with the, when it came to that meet and greet. So we come to the meet and greet and we're all waiting there. We waiting there for a good like 25 minutes. They didn't come out yet. Maybe they was conversing about what they was going to do, how they was going to move. I'm not sure what the case was. Sorry, I got a little bit of spit right there. Hold up. Where's my little gloss at? Okay, so anyways, I'm not sure what the case was, but they came out, right? Let me tell y'all what happened when they came out. You know, they go stand by the wall, and we're like, well, about, about time y'all came out here. They go stand by the wall. The camera dude come out, or whoever he was, I'm not sure who was their manager, I'm not sure who he was. He came out real strict, like, all right, y'all, here's what the deal is. Everybody stay in the line. You go ahead and take one picture with them and keep it moving. And if you want a picture, you have to go to the website to get the picture. You cannot take no pictures with your phone, no phones out, that's that. What? Are you serious? I know damn well. I didn't get my hair done, nails done, outfit, lashes done, all this done to just take one picture and keep it moving. And do y'all know, like, here's my thing. I just felt like they could at least came out and just had a conversation. It didn't have to be long. You know, if they were tired, if they had to keep it moving, if they had to go somewhere else or whatever the case may be, they could have still came out and be like, you know, y'all, we're going to sit and talk with y'all for a little bit, take some pictures with y'all. We are in a rush. We want to move. We got to do this. We have to do that. So I'm thinking, you know, even if they do have to go somewhere, at least they're going to give us a little bit of their time, tell us about themselves, you talk to us a little bit, you know, interact with us. No, that's not what we got at all. If you want to interact with them, you better interact with them when you take that picture and that's it. Now, I'm not saying this is how it's going to be in every show because I'm sure it wasn't. I'm sure the other cities participated the way they were supposed to and they got their meet and greets like they were supposed to. Now, I feel like maybe 
it was so short like that because, like I said, there was mad people coming down the aisle. They was kind of interrupting the show. They really couldn't do the show. They went. They, they really couldn't do their show the way they usually do their show. And like I said, it didn't seem like they was irritated, but at the same time, you never really know how they truly felt. You know, they had to just keep on this persona, like keep being funny. But deep down in they, they mind, they probably like, can y'all sit down? Can we finish the show? They Pittsburgh is thirsty. So. You know, um, you know, people got their pictures and stuff like that. And like I said, they said, I'm keeping moving. So I didn't get a picture. And maybe I should have got a picture because the ticket was so much money. But at the same time, I just felt, I, I just really felt really indifferent about it. Like, I'm like, dang, I really, they're so funny to me. I was looking forward to coming to this. I'm not putting them down. I'm not saying they're bad or they're wrong. I just felt like things could have been handled a different way, especially for the people with the meet and greet. And even though Pittsburgh did their own thing and kept coming down the aisle, they still could have gave us a little bit more time for that meet and greet. Because I really feel bad for the people who pay so much money. I really do. Everyone don't got it like that. Some people were scraping up change just to come to the show. You know what I mean? It ain't every day that you get the, um, these people to come to Pittsburgh. You feel what I mean? Anyways, so I just kind of felt bad. So I didn't take a picture because I was like, mm, I really felt indifferent about it. I, I, I did have a good time. But at the same time, it was cut so short. So it wasn't the best time. It wasn't the best experience. Now, I do want to go see them again. I do want to um, go to a show where I can actually see the whole show. So I'll probably go to a show when they're like in Philly, in New York, or somewhere close where I can drive to. And it's not too far of a, you know, of a ride or not too far of a trip. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would do it like that, but I just probably, if they come back to Pittsburgh, I probably won't come. Because if Pittsburgh going to act like they did when they went to that show, I'm not going. So, um, make sure y'all check it out. Make sure you guys check out the um, Pittsburgh episode on the 85 South show. Like I said, it's under Pittsburgh. This was a quick story time about my experience, how I felt about it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. Some of y'all may have went to, to the 85 social. Maybe y'all had a different experience. Maybe y'all seen it different than I did. But, hey, this was just what I felt about it. And this is, you know what I'm saying, how it was for me. So, anyways, um, I hope that you guys liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you didn't already, make sure you turn on the notification bell so that every time I make a video and it pops up, that you guys will get it on your stream. And make sure you follow me on all the social media in the description below. You guys have a blessed day. You guys have a great day. Keep grinding, Ayo. Keep your head up and keep having faith through these tough times. I know you guys are inside. A lot of you guys are inside and not really leaving in the house and you're really stuck in fear don't be stuck in fear allow the faith in God to override your fear because only God can change anything God is God he can't there's nothing that God can't do but I do believe that God is trying to get our attention so make sure you're paying attention spend your time with God pray you know what I'm saying work on the things that you didn't get a chance to work on work on yourself stay to yourself and get your mind right this is the time to prep yourself this is the time to build yourself this is the time to restore yourself don't look at it as a punishment look at it as an as an opportunity and you know um